Hey everybody, this is Allison from Crafty is Cool. Today we're going to make a slouchy hat for any of your dolls. All you'll need is a D hook and a worsted weight yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Jeans yarn in the color Classic. You can substitute any worsted weight yarn you'd like. We're going to start with a chain 17. Find the third chain from the hook and half double crochet into the chain. Continue crocheting all the way back to your starting chain, making a half double crochet in each chain. Now you can count and you should have 15 total chains. To start the next row, you're going to make two chains and turn your work. And now you're going to work into the back loops only of each stitch all the way across. This will create a ribbing effect on the hat and provide, it, provide some stretch to the hat. Continue working half double crochets in the back loops of each stitch and you're going to make a total of 26 rows. That's including your first row. You're going to have a long strip of ribbed crochet fabric. After you've completed 26 rows, you're going to fasten off with a slip stitch and then cut your yarn and you're going to leave a long tail which you're going to use to sew up the hat. So go ahead and cut the yarn. It should be about at least 18 inches long.
Now you're going to need a needle to sew this together. I like to use a bent tip tapestry needle or a yarn needle and thread the yarn tail onto that needle. Fold that strip in half so that each end, the short ends are meeting. And then you're gonna work across that short end into the back loops of those corresponding stitches all the way down. When you've sewn up that short edge, you're going to sew up the top of the hat. So to do that, just flatten your piece, the crocheted tube that you have, and you're gonna just stitch all the way across, and then you're gonna stitch in the other direction all the way across. This just makes a nice even closed top of the hat. You shouldn't have any big gaps, so just keep sewing up the edges until it's completely closed. After you've finished sewing up the top, you're going to weave in these ends and cut them. So go ahead and do that and make sure they're very secure. If you'd like to leave your hat like this, go ahead and um, just try it on your doll. I decided to add a brim to the hat, just a couple of rounds of single crochet around the bottom edge, just to make it a little bit longer. It makes it a little slouchier. So to begin, you're going to add, you're going to join your yarn with a single crochet anywhere along the edge. If you can find the seam, that's fine, but mine was pretty well hidden, so I just joined it at a random spot. Just join it with a single crochet. 
and then you are going to work evenly around the outside. You should end up with 36 stitches. If you have a couple more or a couple less, it's fine. It just depends on where you insert your hook for each stitch. You just don't want it to be uneven or it will gather in one spot. I made two rounds of single crochets, but if you would like to add another one or only one round, you can do that too. It's totally up to you. It just depends on how much you want the hat to slouch. And when you finish those rounds, just go ahead and fasten off with a slip stitch and weave in your yarn ends. Okay, looks like we're finished. So this is the Mr. T doll from my book, Amiga Roo Me, Make Cute Crochet People. And it fits in perfectly. That's just gonna be a standard sized head. A lot of my dolls have the same sized head, so it should fit any of them. And it's a little bit slouchy, or you can pull it up a little bit and make it less so. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm at Crafty is Cool. I also have a fun group on Facebook. It's going to be Crafty is Cool's World of Amigurumi. Thanks for watching. Bye.